Hello, and thanks as always for coming to check out our videos. Today we're going to talk about the VLOOKUP function. This is used to find out whether a value exists in multiple ranges. This is useful for things like looking for data within a gradebook, or as we're going to see today, checking event attendance. So, to get started, let's define this range here. This is the range that we're going to search. To do that, we need to highlight the specified range, right-click on it, and then select Define Named Range. Now head over to the right-hand side of the page, and you're going to see that we have to name this, so let's call it RSVP. Next, let's head over to our paid column, which is where we're going to actually do our lookup. So let's type equals v lookup, and just click on the function, and then put an open parentheses. Now click on the data point that we're searching for. Next, we enter our named range, which in this case is the RSVP that we just set up. Then we want to put the number of the column that we're looking in, which is labeled A, so we put a number 1. Finally, type false. Now you don't have to do this, but when you type false, it ensures that you're only going to be returned exact data matches. If you choose to type true instead, you'll get similar matches as well as the exact ones. Now, close the parentheses and hit enter in order to execute the command. You'll see Matt showed up, because he did appear over in our named range. Now let's extend this formula to the rest of the cells in the column. Just grab the point in the lower right hand corner of the cell, and drag it down until we've gone as far as our column to the left. Now the results tell us clearly which data points appeared in our previously specified range. You can also see which ones do not. This is especially helpful once you're dealing with really large quantities of data, which would just be way too time consuming to verify one at a time. Hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, let us know in the comments section if you have any questions, and thanks for watching.